Okay. Um. So recently, I just got a job in the career field that I've been dreaming about since the third grade. And I'm still like trying to process it all. I haven't really cried. Um, I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to be like, I don't know. Like, it's surprising to me because um, here I am. I've been a stay at home mom. I sat up there and went through a whole lot in the course of three months with my child having delivery problems, my child being in the hospital for almost two months. And it's been a lot. I've been dealing with a lot. I graduated. I'm sitting up here like, okay, I graduated. I'm about to have this baby. I'm about to give me a job. Um, then I turn around and couldn't get my certification. I'm just crazy. I'm like, this is crazy. Like, I can't believe this. So I'm like, okay. Next thing you know, baby having baby problems. What? That's crazy too. So I'm like, okay. I'm just, just lost all hope, lost all confidence. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. So, the next thing you know, I'm sitting here filling out applications on Monster, on Indeed, on Beyond. I'm going to a ton of interviews. I'm talking about in a process, like in a time span of like a month. I'm sitting up here going on interviews like I'm a professional interviewer. Like printing out resumes, like making sure that, you know, I look good and everything. I'm like, okay, what's going on? Like, nobody calls me back. Nobody calls me back. Then I just get, I just forget. I'm like, I'm not gonna put my best towards nothing. That's not something that I really want to do. And then I get something on Indeed talking about a job hiring fear for teachers. And so I'm like, okay, whatever. So it said you had to be certified. So here I am. I'm like, oh no, I'm not gonna sit up here and apply for this and be the only person there without a certification and looking crazy. Of course, I'm not gonna get hired. And so. I'm like, okay, I'm just not going to go. And so, you know, a friend that I haven't even spoken to in like three years inboxed me a screenshot of the, the job hiring fair. And I'm just like, it must be meant for me to go. I told her, I'm like, I'm not certified. She's like, okay, well, I know a few that work in this district who aren't certified either. Just go. And I'm like, okay, no, I'm not going to do it. And she was like, just go. Just try. Just go. It Just go. So mind you, I, my hope was gone. I'm like, okay, well, I might as well do this. I've been doing everything else. So I register. I go the next day. When I say I was not confident, I get in there. People have been teaching for years, years. I'm talking five to ten years. They're certified. I'm sitting up here looking crazy. They look like, you know what I'm saying, majority of them got their master's degree. They looking, you know, looking professional. And I'm just like, oh, my goodness, I'm so scared. Get in there to the first table. Get an interview for a month ahead. I'm thinking in my mind, oh my goodness, I'm just not ready. I'm just not ready. I'm scared. I'm not ready. No, the rest of them said they were going to call me. They didn't call me. So I'm like, okay, I got this one interview. So I'm happy about the interview. Yeah, I'm happy, but I'm scared at the same time. I'm like, what the heck? I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what to do. I'm making sure that I get my lesson plan straight. I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, I don't know what this means, whatever. So I'm like, okay, fine. So I turn around, get it together, three days later, do it over again. I'm like, it just must not be me. It's not It's not me, everything not going right, it don't feel right, it just don't feel right. So I get in there, nervous, I'm nervous. I'm like, what is, like, I'm, I just don't feel it. I don't feel it, I'm nervous, the principal's in there. I'm just like, oh my goodness, I'm scared, I, whatever. I'm just going to knock it out the park, I'm going to do me. I'm um, making sure that the, the the students are participating. I'm making sure that I get my lesson plan through in good enough timing. Gave them a good lesson plan. Um, everything. Next thing you know, they tell me to go wait in the office. And then they send a uh, student to come get me. So I'm going to be fine. So I'm just still nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Take me to the principal's office. So that it don't make it no better that the students, ooh, going to the principal office, you in trouble. Shh. Okay, shh. And so I'm like, oh, Lord, oh, my God. I'm like, whatever. So I go to the principal's office. And I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know. So they they talking to me, and I'm just talking back. I'm just saying, just responding. I don't even know at this point. I'm just saying, saying whatever I need to say. They said, you know, she said I got the job. I said what? I said what? Oh, okay. This can't be real. Y'all can't be telling me I got this job. Like, what? Are you serious? My first teaching job ever. Just graduated in December. Not certified. Trying to figure out what's going on. Still ain't figured it out. Signed my offer letter. I'm sitting up here waiting to start work. And I'm like, what is going on? I just lost hope. Literally just lost hope. Sitting up here looking crazy. I'm like, golly, like, it must be a reason for everything. And um, I said that all to say, just follow your dreams. Do what makes you happy. Because, let me tell you something. You're going to put your best foot forward when it comes to something that you love. Even if you feel like your best foot is not forward, your mind is working overtime just for you to be able to do everything you can to be able to make your dreams come true. And it's worth it. Promise you it's worth it. I'm sitting here waiting, hoping, dreaming, and I got it. So, like, comment, share. Thank you.